Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 953. Hey, we got to talk about Excel 2013. If you go to this link here, you can download a preview. I'm actually shooting this video in July 2000, uh, 2012. So we got to talk about a great new function, if and a. Now here we want to look up, so we're going to use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, we're going to say, hey, look up Sue's name, comma, within this table here. Right, look at this. That's blue with a nice little shade of blue. This is red. I love the new feel of Excel 2013. I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that because I'm going to copy down. Comma, I'm looking up not I'm looking up something in the first column. I want to return something from the second column. So I'm typing a two and I'm doing exact match right there. So instead of false, I'm putting a zero. Now what does VLOOKUP do when it, it finds someone not there? Thomas is not in the list. I don't want to show NA. I just want to show something like not in list. So if NA. You gotta be kidding. There's the value. It's just gonna display the rate if it's a good lookup. Comma if it's not value if NA. I'm gonna put in double quotes. Not in list. Now you know what do we do in earlier versions? We had to use the there was a couple things we could use if error in 2007 or we had to use is NA and then put two VLOOKUPs in one formula but this is just awesome control enter double click and send it down you gotta be kidding if NA now why wouldn't you just use if error if you had that one well if error will put in the text no matter what the error the advantage of if NA is if you only want to check for NA's any other error like a divide by zero or something you want to display. So if NA, great new function. See you next video.